Hello guys, welcome back to Liaison Planet. Today I'm going to be talking about a marine apex predator called the orca. Orcas are found in every part of the world. The orca is the most broadly distributed animal in the world. They occupy a singular position in, in the food chain. They are awesome apex predators. They're in, they are in many ways the water of the ocean and the face of the ocean. They have amazing physical abilities and their behaviour is very close to um, humans' behaviour. They're sometimes called killer whales, what, despite the fact that they never ever attack humans. Like, people call them killer whales, when actually they're not whales, they're dolphins. You know sometimes they can take down large whales. They can eat anything like great whale sharks, whales, fish, seals. They have regional specialisation in food. In one part of the world, orcas would like a different food than uh, in the tropical part of the world. And it's the same with their language, which is much like the humans. They speak different languages. In one um, place in the world, they speak whatever language they, they want to speak and then uh, in a different part of the world they speak another language which humans have no idea what they're talking. Each family and each group have its own unique ad <laughs> traditions and language. Speed, they are incredibly fast. They can reach top speed faster than many animals actually. Orcas are known for their long dorsal fin and black and white colours. Their colour pattern serves as camouflage as well. And the black and white uh, skin colour can, he can help them camouflage by making them look like the ocean water. They live in family groups called pods. And some pods can have up to 50 members. They can see through their ears. Oh, you might be wondering. What? They see through their ears? Well, it's because of echolocation. Now I see your face, you're like, oh. And of course, of their size, they are the largest member of the dolphin family. They can reach up to 10 meters in length, which is gigantic, and 5,000 kilos, which is super heavy. They can swim up to 1,500 kilometers a day for food. Killer whales are a highly social species. They show some incredible family interaction. They work together to look after their young protect their family and to hunt. They also look after elderly orcas, they hunt for them to feed them. They also have their little schools, um, so basically if you're a, a mummy, a mummy orca, then if you have like a, if you have a, if you have a baby, then you have to teach them how to hunt and speak different languages, like some people do in school. The whole family teach the youngs. There is a full testimony of co cooperation. They can really, really inspire us. They really inspire us by showing that if it's too hard for one person, but a group can do it, definitely. So they show us that when you work together, you can do lots of great things. Movies can make things change. Like Free Willy is a very good movie about orcas because movies about orcas can, or documentaries about orcas, I guess not really dumb movies, but documentaries about orcas can really, really help the environment, the species and not captivity or orcas in captivity. I mean, come on. Have you heard of a film called Blackfish? The effect that Blackfish had cannot be underestimated. Some people started realising that uh, going to see orcas in an aquarium uh, is not right. And people realised what was going on in Sea Attraction Park. Like the fact that aqua the aquarium was so small, they're only like 20 metres. When an orca is 10 metres, in uh, these aquariums, they can't swim 1,500 kilometres a day because that's what they normally do in the wild because the wild is so vast and lush. And have you heard of a film called Corky? I watched it. It was a great influence for lots of people. Corky is the orca that has been cat 
kept captive in Sea World for the longest. I mean, they are very cruel in Sea World or Marineland because it's just like a form of bad education. It's a bad form of education because you're teaching uh, kids like, look at the orcas, it's so amazing. The, man, they are so lucky to be captive right now. We should, they're so lucky they didn't really want to be in the wild. Well, actually, they would love to be in the wild right now. But for in and, and Sea World, like in the documentary in the, about Corky, they said that she, Corky is totally fine. I think we should keep her captive. It's not the end of her life. It'll be okay. Maybe she'll be fine, but what meaning to life will she have? And it teaches kids that for our entertainment, we can do whatever we want with our animals. And I don't like her, I think animals should be free. You know the, that keeps their fins straight up? And um, that's muscles that they get every day when they swim 1,500 kilometers. Well, when they're in captivity, their fin starts to go down and down because they don't exercise enough. And that is not preserving them because they could die. And also they're not fit, they're not healthy because they're only getting fish like twice a day where normally they eat up to like 10 fish a day. And also they get fish for doing a raw, they're doing tricks. Shouldn't they just get fish whenever they need it? Why do they need to like jump through hoops and just do tricks and open their mouth and stuff like they sh they should do it whenever they want not just for entertainment and the bad thing about captivity lots of people think oh this is helping the orcas so well since they're endangered when actually they can't have babies and it's just cruel because they can't have babies so the population isn't going up it's probably going to go down like corky she was pregnant so so many times and only a few babies survived there are around 50 orcas in captivity in the world around the moment. Please release these poor animals into the wild. I don't think they really need help by being in captivity. Plus, it's not help to the species at all. So just let them be free. I mean, there's like, at least do it in a sea sanctuary so they can have good quality of life at least and be in like normal ocean water, not like swimming pool water, are you kidding me? Uh, if you see these magnificent animals being ordered about like, yeah, you do that and you do that, like the the, taking so many commands, it's not really okay to do it at all. Did you know that some BBC researchers caught footage, so there is a lot of hope, uh, of an orca in their pod that used to be captive in Russia um, and it looks totally fine, she's exercising, she is eating, she is having a great time with her pod so there is still hope saying that they're better in the wild, they're better off in the wild than just like these terrible like two meter swimming pools. And they can readapt back into the wild. And also, if uh, a mom is pregnant, they they it's uh, helping the species going up and up and up. Well, captivity is one thing for orcas, but there are lots more things that are worse uh, for orcas and that make them an endangered species, like overfishing. When we fish, we're actually taking away their food. So so they can't eat the the fishing nets they get caught up in them um and then they won't be able to go up to breathe and also noise pollution if you if you don't know what that is it's basically orcas speak through echolocation so and the noise made by some marina boats that that we used to fish with are actually like a uh, making them tired, they won't be able to sleep, they could get lost because they are not able to speak to each other as a family and they don't know what they're doing, where to go, they don't know where their 
the rest of the pod is and they can get lost like that poor orca in France in the river. Another massive problem is plastic pollution and they eat the plastic and then they die. Or they eat fish that have eaten the plastic and it goes inside them and then they die. There are charities that save orcas in the wild so please donate to there. I would like to end the video by talking about how many uh, people who are, tr who are campaigning and campaigning for orcas in captivity. Thousands of them are campaigning day and night trying to save these animals from being kept in SeaWorld and Marine Land. I'm thinking about Morgan in Laura Park, Toki in Miami Aquarium, all the wonderful orcas in Marine Land south of France, Kishka, Ulysses in SeaWorld San Diego, and of course Toki. And we will try everything we have to make sure that these animals can go back to the wild. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to campaign for orcas. And um, please be a good person. Like and subscribe. It's free. And it, it would really help out spreading the message. So like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Do not go to these dumb sea shows. Don't buy a single ticket.